It's time for sports, and George Addo Jr. is here. Really sorry about that interview, uh, how that interview on sleep ended. My apologies. But let's talk about sports now. Yes. Yesterday, yes. when we were here, mm. we had not yet received news. In fact, the election was not even over at that CAF. Yes, but yes. Uh, by midday, we knew that Issa Hayatu had lost. Ha had lost. Had lost his position. I thought it was coming. You thought, thought it was coming? Yeah, I thought it was coming. Uh, it's just that when you have to get uh, a very difficult leader like that away it takes you are just not too sure about it mm. but if we follow the analysis and all it was definitely it was so sure that the man so was you going. saw it coming i saw it coming somehow but i wasn't too confident and mm. um, it will happen because when it looked like ahmad was through just in the final oh. hours or final minutes you know isayatu was smiling and you know moving around and okay, so you have yeah. a feeling that hey has the guy sorted things <laughs> i hadn't sorted things out you know <laughs> so i thought it was just a feeling but overall i mean yeah. the change has come but my question is the, I mean, the impact. The Are impact. we going to see any difference? I'm, really? I'm, I'm, I'm not optimistic. Why? That the operations of CAF would change vastly from what was what it was under CAF. Because you know, look, same faces, same old organization. All that has changed is a the leader, head. the head, and the head is coming from, you know, the same pool. Mm -hmm. He was working with Isayatu. All I know now is that the federations will become slightly powerful mm. and can speak their minds as mm. it were. Mm. Before, it was difficult to speak your mind because if you speak your mind and you try to go against Issa Hayatu, you must win or you die. That was the situation. <laughs> but how about the other, you know, FA presidents mm. and what they're doing in their country? Are we going to get operations, you know, change? We can get CAF that is doing the right thing, bidding, being so transparent, publishing mm. accounts here and there. Will we see all of that? I'm not too sure for me. Um, they have to prove me wrong. Mm. We'll give them time. But, but what is Chief Amad promising? He's promised quite a lot. And he says that transparency would be one of the key things. He's also looking at developing the youth, making sure that the African competitions become more profitable. Because that's the stance now. With the Africa, um, the, the clubs in Ghana qualify for the uh, CAF Champions League, I mm. wonder what you're going to do. Because you mm. spent so much money, and in the end, you're going to be getting some $4.5 million out there. So he's looking at making this more interesting, making it more profitable, and it's a good way to go. Key things and infrastructure. It's amazing that we have 54 associations, mm. you know, I mean, 54 associations who are part of FIFA, and we've just got like two um, offices of FIFA, you know, major offices of FIFA in Accra. So that is what we've got to look at. But um, so don't, it's okay, the change. Everybody wants something new. We want us to manage our expectations. Yeah, in 29 years, one man is boring, isn't it? Mm. Uh, you're a lady, you tell me, it's boring. So nah. let's move away from that. We've got a new man, mm. but we have to get down to the issues. And of course, um, in, um, in some seven minutes from here, mm. the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal draw will be made. And Leicester City is the lady everybody wants to marry in this draw. <laughs> Barcelona Why won does Leicester everybody City. want to marry Le There's Leicester. a feeling that, oh, Leicester City should be the easiest team to play. But you mm. have to be careful. So Barcelona wants, to, wants um, Leicester City's hand in marriage. <laughs> Madrid are looking for the same. <laughs> and I, I think it would be a good draw. If Leicester mm. should get uh, AS Monaco, or, or, mm. yes, they can manage that. That mm. won't be bad at all. But um, somehow they might fall in the hands of one of these big guns. Not too sure what that will be bringing. There's also the Europa draw. So let me add that Manchester United qualified, you know, finally to the quarterfinal of the Europa League after beating Rostov by one goal to nail. And that was yes. in a laborious yeah. fashion. It's interesting, really. And, um, you were not too optimistic. No, 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 no. You know, for Manchester United, I, I, <laughs> I yeah. think this season. No, look, see, see, this season is is already messed. You know, messed uh, they, they can make the best of it. The best of it is call it, I mean, try and win the Europa League and qualify for the Champions League. That would be a plus. Mm. But they can they can be happy about what the noisy neighbors are doing in Man City <laughs> because I think Pep Guardiola himself has been a failure in the first season mm. for Manchester United. I might be so blunt this morning and mm. so sharp, but that's just as it is. And before I leave, let me tell you, on Sunday, Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Accra Hearts of Oak. Now, this game is bigger than Liverpool Manchester City on Sunday. <laughs> I'm serious about it. Yes, I know because that. Because the Accra Stadium will be full. Where do you, which of the sides do you fall? Because in Ghana, when but, it's Hearts Kotoko time, you are here or there? Okay, I don't uh, support. I support. I'll give you one right now. Uh, which don't. one? I'll give you Kotoko. No, I, I don't. Uh, you want Accra Hearts I don't want my family to you fight want, me. You want phobia. I don't want my family to so, fight so me. So you want phobia. So I'm doing this, you know, just to support, especially <laughs> so my mother. Okay, she's yes. a phobian. Yeah, she's a phobian. A phobian. She's a strong oh, phobia. 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 Never. <laughs> it, no, it never. It never say die never until say the bones are rotten. Yes. And Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Kuma Pema Pemba. Okay. Asante Kotoko. That would be a great game, you know. Mm. Seriously, Kumasi Asante Kotoko have the form going into this. They look like a side who can score goals. But when you play against Hearts of Oak, no form guy. Mm. Anything can happen out there. But in the last eight years or the last ten years, Kotoko have not lost a game in Accra. I don't understand why. 
they've been winning and winning. So the hard to vote fans said, okay, now there's a change in government. Yeah. Because under the NDC, they lost all the crap. <laughs> now there's a change in government. Interesting. With a lot of deputies. Why are we so bringing they will, politics <laughs> into football now? So they wanted to win this game. Mm. Interesting stuff, plus. They have Frank Nuttall, the coach of Hearts of Oak, and he's coming up against, you know, Lugares. And so we have two expatriates going to fight out there. So mm. for me, I won't tell you where I am. Uh, uh, but Hearts uh, Protocol will go and run the commentary and see. Yeah, uh, you go and run the commentary. But, but, but mm. any predictions for that game? It's crazy. It's crazy. The last time when I attempted predicting a Hearts of Oak game, I couldn't believe my eyes the sort of goal that, you know, um, won it for Kotoko. The goalkeeper saw the back pass, was just trying to pick it up, and then he twisted his leg. I don't know how he did that. He twisted <laughs> the leg and he went into it. We have some crazy goals in Ghana. Mm. We call it the Malam goal. Yes. You won't understand. Mm. So when you're about to predict Hearts Kotoko, I say, hold on. You have to be There's careful. always a spiritual angle, maybe. Oh, God, <laughs> really? Just hold on. You mm. might not know what's happening. Mm. There could be a referee start plot. There could be a spiritual start plot. Mm. Just anything crazy. So let me be careful here. I'll watch the game on Sunday. I'll tell you how it goes. All right, I'll be listening to you. <laughs> Can people listen to yes, you? Yes, of course, on Joy FM. On Joy FM. Mm. Ghana Premier League Live Service is going very, very strong. And of course, we'll bring you all the reactions because, you know, before the game, a lot of drama. The last time, Hearts of Oak players had lined up, Kotoko players had lined up. Who was going to come out of the tunnel was a big issue because they said whoever came out first was going to lose the game. And, and it, George, it took a lot of George, time. before you go, why do we attach so much I love it. It's our game. I, it, no, you see, be, before you came in, I was speaking to yeah. Dr. Ruth Ruth when she was a um, confinante mm, teaching mm, hospital. Mm. We're talking about sleep. Yeah. I don't know if you know about Munungku. No, you, you know, I, and, and she was saying that uh, it's sleep paralysis, basically, yeah. and it's something that happens. Yeah. But the problem in this country is we attach to a lot of spirituality no. to everything. I mean, you're even taking I, it into football and our sports. I, I don't know, but we love it. Don't. It's amazing when they are all looking at who is coming out first. And, and Why should that be a problem? No, if who it, comes out first will, what, will win the match. You might not know. And when, and when they come out, whoever <laughs> runs into the center circle is another thing altogether. <laughs> what the last kind time, of game is this? Well, the last time the House of Oak fans had to go around you know, the pitch with white handkerchiefs and it ended up, they lost well, anyway. So, <laughs> so well, it's here and but there. But why are they even you know, permitting them to you know? To oh, no, but you can't stop them. If, yeah, if, 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 a, if a player scores and celebrates, you, you can't stop him. So the players decide that they want to come out first. Go. But you see, we all love it. And that's why the first, I mean, the, 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 the 10 minutes before the game starts is interesting. Mm -hmm. Because you're wondering what will, will be powder, will be something crazy. Now you've, now you've given me something to look ah, forward yes. to. So I'm going to expect you to, to tell me I'll, on I will Sunday, get you at what time is it? It's, it's starting at 3 o'clock. But you see, if you want to do this, I've, I wish I could talk to the pastors that we can have just fair service. Because you have to be at a class for stadium by 9 or 10. No, I would be listening to you. Oh, you listen to comments. Right, okay, don't worry. I will so be I'll be hoping you... And after the game, yeah. you should expect the composing of songs from Hearts and Kotoko. Mm. Kotoko versus Hearts and Hearts versus Kotoko. So it's a great game. I just can't wait for that. Well, yes. there's mm. something to mm. look forward to yeah. uh, this weekend. Are there any other games? Oh, games, yes. Liverpool, Manchester City. Mm. Now, that's a game that will probably decide which of the two make the top four. Liverpool have become masters in beating the big boys and, and have become losers in, in fighting the small boys. So in a game like this, you expect Liverpool to win. Mm. But in Spain, Real Madrid and Barcelona, the pendulum is swinging. Who is winning the La Liga title? Today, Barcelona wins. The next day, Real Madrid loses. But this weekend, they all have difficult games. Barcelona are away to Valencia. I mean, they are home to Valencia. And Real Madrid are away to Athletic Bilbao. Somehow you feel that Real Madrid should win this La Liga title. See, you're yeah, smiling. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, Barcelona are not, giving, are not giving up at all. At least in Germany, in, in England, and in Italy, the titles are sorted out. Chelsea mm. fans can go on jubilating. I don't know. I'm not sure there's going to be any change. In Germany, it's uh, Bayern Munich, and in Italy, it's Juventus. So. And in Spain, it's Real Madrid. No, 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 no. It's not yet. Not yet. After Real yes. Madrid, it's the same. <laughs> and and I won't be surprised. In the next 30 minutes, Real Madrid will be giving Leicester City. You always get the small teams, and you go. It's true. So if we don't get Leicester City, what happens? Uh, that's fine. I'll be happy. So give them Bayern Munich. <laughs> Let them play once and for all. Uh, and, and, and we meet Bayern Munich, and we'll show them who the champions I'll are. I'll be happy. You are defending and, champions. And, and would, that, would that make you, you know, more confident? Yeah, that maybe. Yeah, 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 but because when they give you Bayern Munich, I know you are going out. You know, because there's a curse of the champions. <laughs> You cannot, you cannot win the Champions League. We'll break League that matches. curse. Okay, we'll see. We'll break that curse. We don't want any UEFA Real Madrid <laughs> or UEFA Lona. Leave Leicester alone today. <laughs> they are so popular in this draw. I can't Thank believe you it. so much, George. This has got it so interesting. Yeah. But our time is up. Thank you so much for your company here on Joy News. Best for more news. Log on to myjoyonline.com. Jennifer Kwama is up next with Joy News Interactive. I'll be back at 12 with more news. See you then.